Hey dear friends, welcome back to the part 21 of our JavaFX tutorial and the part uh, 6 of our GPA. Okay, in this episode, I want to work for you. I want to teach you how you can make relationship one to many uh, in your entity classes. Okay, so work with relationship in this lesson in this video and do not forget to subscribe my channel and like the videos and comment any question you have so let's get started as you can see now we have one entity class I want to create another entity class department for example okay department Okay. and something I want to copy from the department from, from here okay if you didn't say I showed in the previous videos how you can how this works okay and something we also I want to also I want also add here uh, I want to add the size length okay the length of name for example 30 or 35 and an label false okay also the username length can be also 35 and a label false and one thing here we need more it is unique unique should be true okay so also for the password we need and 70 okay and then a label should be false okay so let's copy this and add it to the department also okay but this is department Okay, this is the department class. You have a department ID, you have a department name, not else. Oh, sorry. Okay, you have a department ID and department name. And here also is departments. Okay, that's nice. So let's generate the get and setter. Okay, select all. Yeah, that's okay. And one thing more here you need it has you should make a variable of type department class. Okay, here department. Here is and also in the department you need sorry and department you need a variable of class student okay student now let's check the relationship we can tell we can say one department can have one department can have many students so one department can have many students so we can have one to many relationship here 
so we should have a list of students okay a list of students this is also students one department can have many students okay and multiple student can belongs can be belongs to one department okay to one department so now you can see the students can be child and the department can be the parent so you need uh, you need to you need the foreign key of the parent class as a foreign key in the child class so you need to add the join table here okay join column in join column what is here accessible for you it is a name can put the name or example department ID DID okay and the reference column is as you can see here it is ID okay the reference column is ID And now we should map our department here, okay? Map it by department. The students map it by departments. Now let's create the setter and getter. Okay, for departments. Okay, that's great. And also for students. Yeah, that's okay. okay that's okay so let's create a controller for the department department controller okay let's copy something from here okay department controller also need them and change the constructor method to the department controller Hold shift F okay and also let's copy something else this method to the department controller okay and here instead of that let's add department okay and from department this is also department this is also department and departments okay get departments okay that's nice okay what uh, <coughs> what is neat so let's go to here <coughs> choose the table go to properties this is unconstrained 
an add table uh, let's add a table put the name table student student department okay and let's make an ID call the department okay call department so choose the table again and go to the constraint make set constraint size and then save it okay come to net bin and go to the main controller and here let's add that column also Call department it was okay. Copy this, paste it here. Yes, that is okay. So here you can put it department. Okay. Yes, that is okay. So add it here and paste it to the department. This is actually the department and this is called department. Okay. So and this department. We also need a two string method public string to string to return the name of our department. Okay. And now let's come back to here. Okay, and let's uh, let's add something else. Also, we need a combo box. Okay, we need a combo box. departments okay and also an ID CMB combo box departments okay let's copy this and also save this Okay. Private combo box. Okay of type string okay so let's make a method <coughs> get departments get departments first we need 
to a department controller dprt controller okay and let's make a method type observable list of the department okay get departments okay and from here we also need a department data dprt data department data okay and let's add this copy that here this is department can okay it's equal to new department controller okay and this is also department data okay and from here can get apartment data that get we, we still doesn't that let's see it here we have get departments okay so we should have access to that oh the party dprt can okay sorry dot get apartment controller wrong oh yes the main problem is here okay so that get we don't uh, have we don't have access so why this is a department controller here we have a method okay so we have a, we should have access at that now we have access okay so this is this is great now inside the init method let's get call the get departments method dot for each for example department and here combo box department that at that get items that at d that get name okay So in the department controller I want to add here I want to add here something 
like this Mm. I want to just remove this student okay now we removed the students so so let's run Okay, let's run. Mm -hmm. There is some problem. Let's check that. What is the problem? Oh, problem is in department. Yes. We should go to the persistence and add the department here also. Okay, save that and close it. Now let's run again. Yeah, that's that's great okay now we don't have any department here so if I refresh now we have two table here okay now let's create some departments go to the insert okay Go to the inserts department, for example, software, software engineering, and for example, mobile development. Okay, go and let's add some another department, for example database designing and networking okay okay now we have four departments if I run my application again yeah the department here is listed now if I add the department, the department should be added here, okay? So let's go and save method. And save method. Here is the unsave method. Let's set the CD, the set department. Okay this is here you should add new department okay you should add new department of some id but how to take how to take the id okay there is some tips you can add a variable private map of think and integer okay apartment dmap okay and let's oh sorry and let's initialize it it's equal to new hash map okay And here the map dot put the dot get name 
and here d dot get id okay so oh d dot get id is long this should be long okay now that's great so now how to unsave method this is the one update unsave method out get the id by dmap you can get the id dmap dot get dot get and by combo box department dot get value okay what's wrong yeah go to the department and here add some construct method okay let's add construct method with the field of id okay generate that save it and back again here now this is okay let's run again Wow, there is some problem. On time exception. Oh, yes. For department also we need a default constructor method, okay? Now let's add Muhammad username is Muhammad, password is Muhammad and department is software engineering and create yeah it's created but it is not showing here okay if I run again yes it is now we see that here let's make this problem let's make solve this problem so just go to the department controller and here when you retrieve you just need to <coughs> add this okay and also go to the unsave and instead of add call the table view that get items that clear and then that set items get the students again okay students data now let's run again okay for example Wali, Wali, Wali. The department is mobile development, and now let's create that. Yes, that's work nice here. As you can see, it's added here. Okay. For example, Reza, Reza, one, two, three, four, five. Department is the tab is designing, and let's create that yes it's work nice okay so if you see in the database the students as you can see here here is created a DID if this the Muhammad Wafa was software engineering 
if I click here it will go to the software engineering okay and valley is mobile development pass yes that's okay thank you for your watching and see you in the next video and please don't subscribe don't forget to subscribe my channel goodbye